71% of all high school dropouts come from fatherless homes. 71% of all pregnant teenagers, 85% of all children with behaviour disorders, 90% of all homeless and runaway children come from fatherless homes. 63% of youth suicides are from fatherless homes. 85% of all youth in prison come from fatherless homes. Daddy, can I share some good news? Sure, go for it, Rusty. I have some really good news to share with all of you. We all have a father like my daddy. He is the best daddy ever. His name is God. He's always with us and he promises to never leave us. He created us and he loves every one of us. Please continue watching our opening podcast videos. Learn more about the great future plans our Father God has for us, all of us. I love you, Daddy. I love you too, Rosie. Can I ask you a question? So what thoughts come to your mind when I say the word Father? I'm sure there are a lot of different answers out there because everyone has a different experience with their father. Some of you may not have very good thoughts about your father. The experience you have with your father here on earth may not be a very good one. There may not even be one at all. But the father I'm talking about today is not the same father that you have here on earth. The father I'm talking about is so good. He's perfect. He's God. You see, God tells us that he is the creator of heaven and earth, the mighty God. But he also tells us that he is our father. And can you imagine just how good of a father he actually is? He knew you before anyone else did. He loved you before you ever took your first breath, before you ever took your first steps. He carried you in his big arms. He knew every hair on your head, every thought in your mind, and every dream in your heart. He protects you. He provides for you. And he promises to always be with you. He is always with you. He is a good father. You need to know that, yes, God gave you the parents that you have here on earth, and yes, they are your parents. But God is not only your heavenly father, but he is also your parents' heavenly father. Your parents are meant to model what kind of parents they are here on earth after God. They want to try and look like God, our heavenly father. Some of you here may have parents that do that, and that's awesome. And there may be a few of you in here that didn't have that kind of experience when it came to your father here on earth. But it still doesn't change the truth. God is our Heavenly Father, and He is so good. Growing up, I had an amazing family. We had so much fun together. And as I grew older, my amazing family became less and less amazing. My parents started fighting more. My siblings started fighting with each other and with my parents, and my amazing life at home slowly became terrible. My parents got divorced, and I had to make a really hard decision. Who do I live with? My mom or my dad? So I chose to live with my mom, and this really upset my dad. And there I was, a 13-year-old boy, living in a new city, living a new life, and all of it without my dad. And in my heart, I was lost and scared and confused. And during this time, I really leaned on God, and He shared something with me that I hold on even to this day. God said, Caleb, you don't get to choose who your earthly dad is, but you do get to choose if you want me to be your father. At first, I was confused because I I didn't understand the difference between a dad and a father. And in that moment, God showed me. He showed me how he would always be there for me, even when I felt alone. He reminded me that he will never leave me no matter how hard life gets. He told me that he will always love me and forgive me when I make mistakes. He showed me that he would never get angry with me or yell at me for something that I did wrong. And in that moment, I decided that I wanted God to be my father who would guide me and love me and provide for me, watch over me, bring me joy, and never to leave me. And in that moment, I realized what the difference was in a dad and a father. You see, Dads can make mistakes, they can forget things, 
They can be too busy to play with you. They can even leave us. But a father, God, he is someone who will never leave you. He will always make time for you. He will never forget about you. He always wants to hang out with you and will never miss an important moment in your life. But I started to think about some things that would be hard for God to do in my life on earth, like helping me through school and how to learn how to change a tire or, I mean, just so many other things. So I asked God to give me multiple dads. Now, I know that sounds really weird, but what I was asking God for was for him to place men in my life to help teach me things that I needed to learn, but I couldn't without my actual dad because we live so far apart. And he did. My mom got remarried and my stepdad, he became one of my bestest friends. He helped me with school and he taught me things like how to be kind and funny and compassionate. And God placed pastors at my church in my life for certain seasons to help me get through some pretty big ups and downs. And I even asked God to give me a best friend, and he did. And now my best friend's dad is someone who I consider to be one of my dads, even to this day. He showed me how to be wise with money and how to show unconditional love to people, even when they don't deserve it. When I got married, God gave me the best father-in-law who has the same type of job as me. And we literally always have something to talk about. And he has shown me how to listen and how to connect with people. I can always talk to him about whatever I'm going through and he knows exactly what to say. And as time passed, my relationship with my real dad got better and better. You see all those things that God had taught me through the men he placed in my life, I began to show them to my dad. I showed him kindness and compassion, unconditional love, and I forgave him for all the bad times that we had. Now, my dad and I are great friends. We hang out all the time and God knew exactly what I needed. And the men he put in my life weren't by mistake. He knew exactly what I needed. And the best part about all of it is that in every single one of those moments in my life, God, my Father, was with me through every one of them, just like He promised. Thank you.